welcome to HHC TV News. Today's date is Thursday the 15th of March 2012 and today's top stories are BSF, The Big Brew, The Washington Trip, Spire Healthcare, Hairspray and The Weather. Now over to Connor with BSF. We have recently visited the building site and we have managed to secure an interview with Richard Wright, project manager of the new Highfield build. Here is the interview with Richard Wright and the highlights of our visit. We are well on with the envelope and roof. We're watertight now to allow us the plasterers to start the internal walls to be progressive and to join us and the internal trades as well as all the pipes and wires going into the building. The glass, we've probably got another two or three weeks of, of fitting glass, roof lights, one or two areas on the ground floor of glazing. So another certainly in the next month we'll look to, to, to close out with virtually every area. There is a couple, of, a couple of tiles that we've done as a bit of a sample. Um, we're about three weeks away starting the tiling in, in earnest, really. Uh, the weather in Blackpool is absolutely wonderful. Um, <laughs> we, we had the, the tower crane sticking out of the roof for quite some time, which is, um, instead of it being October, it ended up just into the new year. So we were uh, fortunate with wind, really. Um, so being two miles from the sea we should have really anticipated that but uh, it, it was just hard work trying to get that down and leaving a hole in the roof in the meantime. Certainly working with, with Highfield School, working with the, the residents in Highfield has been really really positive as a company in the, in the, the situation of the school we do have a lot of neighbours as it were and, and that's been fantastic so far um, trying to keep everybody happy is, is a, a challenge at times but uh, on the whole we keep talking to people and that, uh, that seems to be working well. Yeah. Well the school finish at, at the end of July, about the 20th of July and in the, in the couple of weeks after that we'll be moving um, all, the, all the boxed up books and textbooks and everything over as well as the, any machinery that's retained as legacy equipment from the existing school. So uh, end of July the school should be, should be looking pretty much finished with just then some final snagging and, and testing and commissioning and getting the building ready for, uh, for people to move in, keeping it, getting it cleaned and tidied um, so that come 3rd of September teachers can all come in, unload the boxes and then the children can all arrive on the 10th. The Fair Trade Group is involved in a national event called the Big Brew. This event is part of Fair Trade Fortnight which is currently ongoing. The group have teamed up with many fair trade charities to provide the pupils with fair trade snacks and drinks during their lunch break. Highfield received their fair trade status last year. The school has carried on building up the fair trade portfolio around the whole community. They have had many events to celebrate the fortnight and invited many guests including the deputy mayor, the local MPs and the staff from a number of the local care homes. Year 8 students from Highfield Humanities College travelled to the Building Design Partnership award winning offices in Manchester in February to compete with other schools for the UK Heats finals. The teacher, Mrs Hallam, had to send the students 750 page narrative. They had to produce a 5 minute video presentation. They also had to send the CAD drawings and photographs prior to the event. Now we're going to go see Miss Hallam, Head of Design Technology at Highfield and see how she got involved in the competition. How did you get involved Miss Hallam? Um, I got involved because um, we're getting a new school at Highfield in uh, September t uh, 2012 and Eric Wright who's building it got approached by a company called Class of Your Own to actually find out if children in our school be interested in learning a bit more about architecture and building etc. From that it was given to the head, got involved and Linda Appleby and we, they arranged an appointment to speak to me 
with Alison Watson, who runs Class of Your Own. She came in, explained what was what the competition was about. We were quite enthusiastic about it, so we thought we would trial it out with our year eights. We thoroughly enjoyed it, and next year we're rolling it out in the new school for all of year eight. A member of HHC TV was invited to M Vision for the launch of the Low Vision Centre. Here are the highlights of our visit. This year, Spy Healthcare has raised money for M Vision, a visionary blind society in the northwest supporting visually impaired members of our community. The demand for this has increased to 900 currently. Previously, this was done one at a time, which was extremely time consuming. With the support of the money provided by Aspire, some new equipment has now been purchased which will reproduce the news programmes onto 16 pen drives at a time. Here you can see the machine in operation. A group of volunteers come into the offices on a rotor basis to record the written media. It is then transferred to the pen drives and delivered to each listener. This equipment has now been installed and is fully working to support the efforts of Envision. Spire Healthcare are proud to support this excellent work. Well, I'm really pleased to be here to see the money we raised from our ball and the piece of wonderful kit that it's bought, as you can see here, donated by the hospital from a recent charity, and it's an absolutely superb joy to see it working uh, and indeed to make life a damn sight easier. It does indeed. Thank you very much indeed. You've no idea. And I, I just think from our point of view in relation to the fact that there are so many demands as far as charities are concerned to actually uh, fulfil one of those demands and indeed find something that is coming to great use because how many of these do you have to copy every week then? Oh, about 900. About 900. That must have been a horrible, tedious job, I would have thought, trying to do it on a single basis before this uh, magical piece of kit oh, came along. Oh, it was indeed. It was yeah. indeed. So uh, I'm glad you're taking a lot, lot, of, uh, a lot of use from it. It's very, very important from our point of view. Thank you very much for inviting me along today. And thank you very much for providing us with this wonderful equipment. Fantastic. All the very best with it and I hope it serves you for many years. Thank you. Okay, thank you. A few weeks ago, Highfield Humanities College staged a musical called Hairspray. This performance was held at the school theatre. And this is the last performance before the pupils move into the new school. Over 300 people packed the theatre on the first night and 400 on the second night. Here are some brief highlights of the show. Jacob and here's your weather updates for the week. As you can see today will be cloudy with a temperature of 16 degrees in the day and 7 degrees at night. Tomorrow will be cloudy again with temperatures of 13 degrees in the day and 8 degrees at night. On Saturday we'll see specks of rain with a temperature of 13 degrees in the day and 4 degrees at night. 
Thanks for watching HHC TV News. Please visit our website at www.hhctv.co.uk. Alternatively, you can watch our other news programs at www.youtube.com/hhctv. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.